We've been invited by Citizen Miano to Apex Marine Equipment. First of all, so people know what you do, can you give us a quick sort of summary of the company, please, Gordon? Right, the, the company was founded 40 years ago by an, an engineer called Ken Ainsco. Uh, he was an engineer by trade. He had a passion for scuba diving. Uh, and Jack Cousteau, he was, you know, amazed by what Jack Cousteau does. So he was an engineer by trade and he worked in the aerospace company. And he looked at the regulators and thought, do you know what, I'd love to give this a go. So like any, any good engineer, he said, I can, I can make it better. Absolutely, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and here we are today. He started with himself and he, he later bought, brought a business partner on board with him. And 40 years down the line, this is where we're at. So how many staff? About 165, 170, yeah, one or two part-timers. And how many machines? About 28 in the machine shop, yeah, and probably 12, 13 in the tool-making area. And exporting to how many countries? Oh, how many countries? I won't hold you exactly. No, 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 but uh, it's, it's worldwide. It goes to America and Germany. They are our biggest markets, but you've got Belgium and Holland and Italy, and now we're branching out into the Asian markets. So, yeah. And these are world-leading respirators, so any good diver will have one of these? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, Apex is, is well-known throughout the world. And manufactured in-house, you've got your Citizen, citizen Amiano machines. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we're going to have a chat with Mick and showcase what they actually do on those machines. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Mick, you run the sliding head sort of turning section. You've got a bit of experience with Citizen, I understand? I a little bit of experience, yes. Going on for 28 years now, yes, in Citizens. Yeah. Formerly at the Royal Ordnance Factory, and now presently at Apex. OK, so why do you like Citizen so much? I started out with them and I've stuck with them ever since, yeah. So why fix them if it's not broken? Yeah. So you've got here the L32. What, in, in terms of specification of the machine, what have you actually got in here? Well, this L32, personally, I'll see you've got your main spindle, sub-spindle with three fixed tools. The main spindle and sub-spindle both hold the same diameter bar? That's correct, yeah. They've both got to 32 mil. they've both got the same power, yeah. OK, and in terms of tool, tooling patterns? On our arrangement, we have six turning tools, three fixed boring or drilling tools, and four, four milling heads. Now, has that got a B-axis by the look of it? No, it hasn't got a B-axis, though. This is a fixed, fixed head with just three phase tools. OK, but uh, driven tooling, though? It is possible to get a driven tooling on these, but it's a separate arrangement on your plant, yes. OK, fair So, different specification, and Citizen can meet those requirements for what you need? Yeah, that's right, yeah. We don't need it on this one, so we're fine with what we've got. So why do you like Citizen machine so much, though? It's the simplicity of them, actually. The programming, setting up, it's so simple. OK, yeah. and what about support from the guys? Support's fantastic. You've been on the phone to them. They've even been known to come out without actually having a correct order. If he's passing, he'll drop in. Yeah, fine. Now, it's great telling me about the machine, but I want to talk me through this component here that you manufacture on it. Now, this component here, we used to make this, I think it was in three separate operations before we had any citizen here, and now we do it on this machine, L32, from solid bar in one minute, 40 seconds, complete, no second off. So, one up, one minute, 40 seconds? Yes, that's great, one minute, one minute, 40 showing off a bit there, I think, so, <laughs> but, it, I mean, it really impressive component, just talk, if you just show that to Cameron, so talk through what you're actually doing with Yeah, it. basically, we start off with the front end, the beauty of the sliding head is, well, you do it in sections, you do a section that's 20 mil long, do all the internal work, yeah. then come in again, and you can return and readdress it, and it does it in stages until you get a complete component. Yeah, but here, I mean, here you've got the, the slotting in here and the drilling. Yeah, you just all it requires is four driven tools to produce. Some of the tools do separate ops, but yes, yeah. four tools to do all that. Because it's really tiny radius in there, for example. Yeah, it's a 0.75 rail, so we have one and a half mil cutter that does not square yeah. in there, yeah. And then drilled all the way through, it's quite yeah. a long component. Once we've got all of it, we get all of it up to that shoulder with the sub-spindle, and all the internal work is done on your, your five tools on your sub-spindle on your back end. Pretty impressive stuff, and you've actually got six citizens or seven citizens? We've got seven now. We're, we are getting rid of one of our older ones, I believe, to a newer version of the L32, which is imminent. Imminent. OK, and this L32 itself, it's been here 12 months? This one, just over 12 months, yes. Yeah, but it was a sad day when its pre predecessor went. How long was that here? I believe it was coming up for a 21-year-old, the old L32, but it is still working in a local company. Oh, so it's not been retired? No. A local subcontractor has bought it off us, and he's still using it to this day, yeah. OK, so that's a great sort of showcase of what you could do on a sliding head. But you've also got your Miano. Let's go and have a look at what you can do on that. Yeah, of course. I'll show you the Miano just over there. 
So Mick, the latest fixed head purchase, Miano BNE 51 MSY, let me get that right. Yeah. So in terms of spindles, turrets? Yeah, we've got two spindles, you've got your main spindle on your left hand side, your sub spindle on your right, two turrets, the upper turret with a Y axis, the lower turret with no Y axis, but they're both up to 12 tools, either driven or fixed, and occasionally you can have the double holders where you can have four tools in one station. Oh right, so driven tool and all the way around, so essentially 24 driven tools, but flexibility to add those. Yeah, whatever your job requires, whether you have driven tooling or your fixed tooling, very adaptable, very versatile. Yeah. When you say adaptable and versatile, you can actually, as I understand it, depending on the tool setup, be uh, machining three phases at one, one time. That's great, yeah, you can have three phases, or two turning on your main spindle, on your sub spindle coming in, working on a tool that's facing your sub spindle. Okay. Yeah. And in terms of power and flexibility of, of the tooling and the spindle? We have up to 5,000 on your main spindle RPM, same on your sub spindle, and on our machine we have the collet attachments where the same collets fit either end. Yeah. yeah, easy transfer, easy quick change. So a, a machine you enjoy working with? <laughs> yeah, it is, because, because unfortunately for me it is very similar to the Citizen and that's the programming tooling, very similar. Okay. So in terms of programming, you've got a Mitsubishi option, is that right? I believe the Mitsubishi option, I don't know if it's the only option, but it's the one that we've got, yes. Right, okay. Yeah. And is that fast and easy? It is easy, easy especially because it's similar to the Citizens, very easy to learn, easy to set. Okay, now we've talked a bit about the machine. Also, for a machine this, this powerful and with, with so many options on it, quite a small footprint. It is, yeah. I mean, we have a three metre bar feed over here, but quite a small footprint for a 51mm machine, yeah. Okay. Doesn't take up much space, we like it. So, obviously impressed with it. Now, this is something I dug out while we are walking around. Now, this is one of the parts you're manufacturing. If you could just talk me through it, because yeah, impressive sure. stuff. This is done on this machine again, from 42 bar on your main spindle. What we do, we do it from this end, Produce all the holes, all the holes, internal, and the sub spindle work is done on this end. So if you just side. show that to the camera, so you're doing the sub spindle work sub -spindle there. Spindle works on there. Yeah. That's your main spindle. While this work's being done on this area, again it starts making the next one and doing the front end. So you get complete components in one cycle, and that is done in three minutes complete. Yeah. Impressive stuff. And also quite in terms of your, your drilling and tapping, quite big. Yeah, we have a 3x BSP tap, I think it's about 16 mil diameter, and it does it no problem day in, day out, not a problem. Oh, so very happy. I mean, these components essentially, people's lives are relying on them. They are, yes, they obviously, their lives depend on what we make here, so tolerances are tight, quite a few tap tools have got to be right, but yeah, it's not a problem on this machine. Yeah. So tight tolerances, repeatable? Yeah, repeatability, we come in in the morning, 6 o'clock, switch the machine on, but in five minutes we've had two components off. And they all measure fine normally, not a problem. Okay, and we, you know, we ask a lot of the times in terms of service and support. I mentioned that earlier though. What sort of service support do you get with the Miano? The support is just exactly the same as the citizens, yeah. yeah. We can be on the phone, they can usually get an engineer, it's a major problem within a day, two days at the most, but yeah, they were fine. So, very happy with the machines? Very happy, yeah, very good. Okay. Mick, thank you very much. You're welcome, not a problem.